done most of the work to the kitchen now. A bit of painting, filling the holes, extra tiles, grouting, new light. So we're now all ready to start putting the uh, tile paint on. So I'm just um, starting to mask off. Then uh, once I've masked it off, I'm going to undo the screws in the sockets and pull them out a little bit to get behind them. And I'm going to try putting on the uh, paint, which is the V33 stuff. I'm going to try sticking the paint on with a roller first, to see how that goes. Um, girlfriend's been out and scrubbed all the tiles and uh, prep surfaces so I can get the uh, tape down. Um, it's one of the preparations. It says you need to uh, wash and rinse with water and allow it to dry. And you want to make sure the grouting's nice and clean so we've got no uh, grease and things like that uh, or any traces of mould. And it says washing the surface with a soda based alkaline cleaner is essential. It says greasy or plastic coated materials can affect the addition of the paint. And one other important thing there, it says, remove any silicon sealant before painting and reseal after the application. Uh, that was my plan anyway, really. Um, I think it would make a, a much neater um, finish, having the silicon over the top of the finished paint job. Plus, you know it's going to be waterproof then, before the uh, tiles. So... Um, Gonna crack on with uh, masking the rest of the bits and bobs off and uh, see how it comes out. Um, one thing I have been thinking about is how I'm gonna do this bit in the corner because we've got the pipes. And what my idea is, I'm gonna try and camouflage them. So I'm gonna try and stick some tile paint sort of across there and covering all the um, the pipes underneath so it sort of uh, hides them away a little bit um, we're going to see how it goes see how much paint i got left because if i haven't got much paint left because you've got to do two coats on this if i haven't got enough paint then i'll just leave them an old gloss gloss them in white or something like that um, but if i got loads of paint left then i'm going to cover over them and hopefully it'll be a, a nice little camouflage job and then last thing I'm gonna to have to do is attach me hive controller up there again which I'm gonna to need to play with some of the uh, wires trim them down and everything and then um, stick it up there and then it's up to the girlfriend to uh, get all the uh, units painted she's got some of that and that'll be another video I expect so um, right I'm gonna crack on then and I'll uh, when I start getting the paint sorted out, I'll film that. Wait. There you go. And that is the kitchen blanked off. <coughs> there you go. I've put some masking tape of that all around there. There you go, and all up here. Um, I've taken off some of the pipes. Let's go see how it goes. I might stop around here and then have another rethink. But um, for now, I've just uh, taped them all off and see how it goes. As you notice, we've pulled away the plugs. And I've put the, uh, a freezer bag over them. So uh, hopefully, we won't get any paint on them and they'll still be nice and bright white come the end. There you go, and I've got some surrounding areas like the fridge freezer there. I've taped some um, newspaper too just to protect it from any uh, splattering. Um, on the instructions though, it says you're going to need uh, something to stir a sachet 
uh, of powder in. So I've nicked one of the daughter's little freebie spoons. So I'm going to use that. And I've got a mini roller. Um, so that's about it now. So I'm going to uh, get it all mixed up and crack on. There we go. So I've got my weapons of choice. I've got just over there a bit of spare rag just in case. I've got a uh, 38mm brush. I've got the mini roller. That. Stir out, stir in the additive with the sash from the sachet that's in the top of the uh, tin. And that's the tile paint. So uh, I still think this um, carbon colour is going to look a little bit strange, but the uh, the girlfriend wanted it, so we're going to give it a go. Right. I'm getting it. Right. So there you go. There's a. Uh, sachet of additive that you've got to stick in before you um, use this paint and it says that it can be used up to 10 days after adding the additive after that uh, the paint will not sort of work its magic now, I don't know what this additive does um, but um, whatever it is it's new to me not seen this before a little twist the top off and squeeze it and add it in there and then you've got another you've got like a little plastic top to the uh, the paint there which you can prise off and uh, get at the main stuff now what I'm going to do I don't want to waste paint I want to because it's so expensive it's about 25 quid for this little tub 750 mil what I'm going to do then, I think, I'm going to um, keep the paint in there, I'm going to dip the roller in there and um, get it as even as I can. And if I need to uh, rinse a little bit of the excess off or get a bit rid of the excess, I'll just use the, uh, the tray there and then I could just reuse the tray later on and use any anything that's still on there. So we're going to give it a go. Uh, this is uh, water based by the looks of it. So we could use water to uh, clean all the tools off. Um, if we spill any we could use water to get um, to clean it up again. So um, a lot better than having to use turps and things like that and white spirit for the um, oil based stuff. So without further ado let's give this one a go. With the paint there, it's about three quarters full, I'd say. There's the additive. All right, past the point of no return now. That's the additive in. Put that in the bin. And now to use the little girl spoon to mix it up nicely. It does seem quite thin this paint, so uh, be careful when you're stirring it. So it'll get everywhere. Now it seems quite thin to start with, but it does seem to be thickening up. Now I don't know if this is the additive at work, or whether it's just because I've started stirring it. That's that mixed thoroughly, and 
and uh, let's start giving it a go on the tiles. There you go, started uh, painting it and it seems to go on okay. Um, one thing I have noticed is that you need to go round with a brush first to get it into the grout and then go over the top with a roller. But you've got to be quick because as soon as you've put this stuff on the tile, if you go over it again with the roller, it takes it all off again, especially the sort of glazed tiles. So um, you got to be quick with it. But um, it seems to be going on. The colour actually looks all right. Yeah, cracking on with it. It's uh, it's not an easy sort of experience. It has to be quite r done. It has to be done in a rush. But it's getting there. And you're just concentrating on the corner, trying to get behind the pipes, without getting the uh, getting the paint everywhere and wasting it. Um, but getting there. But I did forget to blank off uh, a couple of sockets in the corner there, so I'm going to concentrate on that now, and then uh, get the rest of it cracked out. Right. That's the first coat, all done, all the way round. I had a lot of trouble doing the pipes there. Um, I'm gonna have to rethink that one. But that's it all done. On the first go round, I've got some patches in areas. Um, some of them I tried to sort of retouch, but it was taking a lot of um, paint away with it, with the roller. So um, I'm just going to leave it for now. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's little bits of patch in there. Look. So I'm going to leave it now to dry for the recommended 24 hours. Uh, 24 hours to recoat, and it says it's fully dried uh, within 72 hours. So I'm going to wait for the 24 hour recoat before I make my judgment. But it hasn't been easy. Um, it definitely likes the unglazed tiles better. It covers them, it loves going over them. But as soon as you hit a glazed tile, because I've had a few mixed ones in there, um, it sort of, um, it doesn't stick to the glaze like, like I was thinking when I originally uh, had the idea of this tile paint. Um, I think maybe a little bit of very fine sandpaper or wet and dry or something on it just to get a little bit of a key onto the um, the glazed tiles would have uh, gone down pretty well. Just to give it a little bit more of a key for the paint to stick on. Um, but we've done it now. Um, it does cover quite nicely. I reckon when I coat it to, uh, tomorrow with the second coat, I reckon it's going to go on really nice. Girlfriend's already been in another quick look and she loves it. She says the colour's nice. So... Um, that's my that was my main worry that the um, the colour was wrong, but um, she likes it. And once we've done this, it's um, then on to all the kitchen cabinets, and we're going to be painting them. Right, that's that's uh, Chris, UKToolReviews.com, sign off for twenty four hours, and um, I'll get the video rolling tomorrow and uh, show you the end result. Hopefully, right. Cheers, bye. Right, day two of painting the tiles. This is the second coat as the instructions state. Uh, you've got to do two coats. Um, I made a decision for the boiler. I'm just going to chuck all the... Uh, I've got quite a lot of paint left. I only used about a third of it yesterday. So I've got plenty of paint left. So I'm just going to chuck the paint all over the, um, the pipes there to try and blend them into the... Uh, the wall, um, so if you can see all that lot there, I'm going to paint the wall there, that's not got any tiles on but I'm going to see how it goes on. And I've blanked, well, I've, I've taped some of the uh, pipes hopefully in a, a nice straight line for where the tiles cut off, so it should look quite neat. And uh, we'll see how it looks, it's not looking too bad at the top where the white meets the uh, the paint of the walls there, the magnolia colour. I thought that looked quite good. So uh, we're going to hopefully get the same sort of result down there. But anything to hide that mess will look alright, I think. So um, I'm just going to go for it and uh, we'll see how it goes. 
Now uh, I'm hoping that this coat will definitely get rid of all the patchy bits because you see the little patchy bits there that doesn't look very good but that's on all the uh, glazed tiles and I, I didn't think it was going to sort of come off that easy but it did so uh, hopefully I won't have to go so quick this time and I can enjoy it because I've already painted all the uh, the grout from yesterday so this one should be nice easy use the roller all the way around nice and quick and then I've just got that little bit of stress in the corner getting all that done and then um, that should be me and, um, and then we can crack on with getting these uh, cupboard doors all painted up and that's the end of the kitchen project and then uh, well then we're gonna have to get some uh, new lino down to complete it all what's the lino people have been that's pretty much it's gonna look a it's gonna look like a brand new kitchen so uh, well, I'm gonna crack on before this paint goes off and um, I'll uh, flash the camera up afterwards to show you what it all looks like Right, that's the uh, second layer of paint applied. Uh, it's covered over really well over the uh, the bits that didn't cover properly yesterday. So it's get it's sort of uh, get a nice key sort of over itself on the second layer. Now in there, it's it's only on its first um, layer of paint, so there is patches like what we had with all the glazed tiles. Um, So I can't really pass judgment on that yet, but on the overall scheme of things, it's not looking too bad there. The object is just, it's always going to be a bit of an ugly bit there with all the pipes coming out and everything, but um, I think with the, with the little bit of uh, camouflage that it's got there, it's, um, it's sort of going to be a little bit less of an eyesore than it was before. And uh, we paint all the way up there so what I'm going to do um, it says the paint takes 24 hours to dry so I'm going to give it another 24 hours and then I've got loads of paint left I've got at least I'd say a third of the tin left now probably a little bit more so uh, what I might do tomorrow is rather than just giving the corner there um, another layer of paint which it does need does need it quite a lot. I'm just going to do the whole entire kitchen again. Uh, so that will have three really good layers. So we shouldn't have any missed tiles and anything like that. Uh, when, when I am going, I don't know, it might just be the, the grey colour, but when I'm going through it I am noticing some bits that stand out like a sore thumb you know, that are, are still white, little bits of grout. So um, I don't know if that's just the colour, there's the grey colour and the, the white contrast in makes it easy to see. But um, I've spotted a few bits that I didn't see yesterday. I thought I did a pretty good job yesterday, but um, I did see a few bits that needed redoing. Um, particular attention around the plugs, because uh, some of them I missed a bit. Um, and one good thing with this paint, it doesn't tend to drip. Um, I've been lashing it on in a few areas, but it isn't it isn't sort of um, dripping anywhere. So um, that's quite a good thing, really, because that would look really bad on your tiles. <laughs> Massive great drip going down it when it's dry. So um, yeah, all looking good. Um, I'm still a bit sort of um, I'm, I'm not convinced on the grey colour personally. Um, but we've still got the uh, the cabinets to do which will be another video um, so we'll see what happens then it's the girlfriend's colour scheme so if it's wrong we can we could all blame her I suppose I'm just putting it on I'm just applying the paint that she gave me okay right so um, we'll update you on the third day of painting see what it looks like um, but I've got a feeling it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be looking good uh, it's, it's certainly dries nicely. Um, me sort of different tiles that I've got, you can't really notice it unless I zoom right in and, and you're looking with the naked eye. Um, some of them are different tiles. We were hoping it's going to be thick enough to uh, 
sort of go over it and then make everything smooth. But you can't really notice it. If you were a visitor into the house, you know, and you'd have a quick look around, you probably wouldn't notice these different tiles that are in there. Um, you can see sort of a little bit there look, where it's, the light's hitting it. But because the other sort of glazed tiles were uh, had a, you know, a very slight pattern on them, as you can see there, it sort of um, moulds in a little bit. You can see where it's a lot more heavily patterned there compared to the rest. But um, it's not really no that noticeable. So uh, I think we pulled that one off which saved me from uh, taking all the tiles off in the whole kitchen and redoing it all so um, it's definitely saved me a bit of time um, and it's definitely looking good for the minute so we'll um, update you tomorrow and that should be the last day of painting and I am very surprised even though it's a small pot of paint how much I've got left um, so really when you're uh, going around in your own kitchen see how many tiles I've got around here um, you don't have to be I mean, as cautious as I was. I mean, I was scrimping on every bit of paint. You know, I didn't even tip it into the uh, roller tray. I was dipping the roller into the actual uh, painting just to save that little bit extra paint. But I don't think I needed to, to be honest. I should have just stuck it straight into the roller tray and gone at it like that. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't seem a lot of paint, but it definitely does spread around nicely. So, you know, I've done a, I'm going to have to work out me metre square of tiling in total. Um, I think I worked out it must be about three or four metres squared, which with the second coat should, by their calculations, have been the whole pot. I think it says seven or eight metres squared that covered. Um, but I've got a lot to spare, so I think a third coat would be quite a good idea, really. Make sure it's a very thick covering. Um, and then it's just the uh, the wear test really, see if it peels off and all that sort of stuff. But it definitely feels solid on the tile, it's really nice uh, feel. Um, and back from where I saw it on the tiles at B&Q, on their display, um, it looked really good. You know, really nice thick covering on the tile, so any scratches, it's going to have to be a pretty hard scratch to get through to the bottom layer. Um, but I suppose you, if it does, the worst comes to the worst, you're just going to have to buy another tin of it and uh, do that sort of uh, do that area again if you do scratch them. But it, it does seem to be quite a tough exterior, so um, I can't foresee uh, sort of minor knocks and scrapes causing much damage to it. But we'll see. It's only just been done, so uh, let's see if it, <laughs> it doesn't peel off first and flake off. All right. Signing off. Right, here we are for uh, day three. Uh, taken most of the masking tape off the areas that um, are alright. Um, I've got a load of paint to waste, so what I'm going to do, I've just, I'm not going to do any low bits or dangerous bits, I'm just going to coat the main tile areas and around the sockets and everything. Um, put an extra thick layer where the um, hob is because obviously that'll be the most cleaned area so I want to get a really nice thick layer of paint on that and of course the nasty pipe area so uh, I've got a uh, little pencil brush to get in there a little tiny little brush because uh, there are loads of little areas that I missed yesterday so I'm going to give that a second coat um, Hopefully I can take all the bags off, get the remaining um, plug put back on and the central heating bits and bobs unbagged and uh, fixed to the uh, tiles again. Um, but it does look good when you um, when you look at it like from afar the camouflage trick has sort of worked but we had a little thought and what we're going to do is right in front of the pipes we're going to stick the microwave there anyway which will cover most of it up um, and hopefully the camouflage trick will hide the rest um, so I thought that's quite a good idea so we're going to waste some more paint but overall quite happy with the coverage uh, second coat looks really good uh, I've just found a couple of little areas where I've um, 
where it's not sort of got into the really deep holes and the grouting. So it's got the, I'm going to use the little pencil brush to get in them a little bit better. Um, but most of the sockets are back in and in place. And all the masking tapes off around there. So it's just going to be a quick um, go over with the roller. And then uh, after I've done that and done the pipe work there, um, fix everything back on and then it's um, sealant time. Uh, done all around there. So can't wait. Right. Sign off and I'll uh, show you what it looks like after. Right, that's the last of the painting done now. It's all looking bloody good. Uh, everywhere has had three coats of paint now. So just going to wait for it to dry and then probably give it a few hours. I'll get that plug unwrapped and then uh, fixed back. And the same with all that lot there. And just so you can see, I mean, I didn't think this was going to last to do the kitchen. I've got about, I'd say, a third left, something like that. Amazing. So it's covered really, really well. So, although it says it's only good for 10 days with the additive, um, I'm going to keep it anyway. I'm going to keep it in the shed. And hopefully, if we do get any scratches or anything, it'll be good enough to um, cover up the... Uh, the scratch mark may, it may not be top quality by that point but maybe it'll get us out of the scrape boom boom so that is the v33 renovation wall tiles paint um, I think exclusively from B&Q at the minute and this small tub was around 25 quid and the big tub I don't know how much the big tub is um, how much in quantity but I think it's around 35 quid so uh, I'd say even though I'm still dodgy about the colour I don't, I don't think the colour's right for this kitchen but it's girlfriend's choice I think the actual you know in paint wise it's done brilliantly and still having a load of paint left as well is really good so everywhere's had three coats now and that's the whole lot of tiles there and uh, it's all brilliant just been around touching up a few little areas that I've missed some uh, you know, little white spots in the grout but I think I've got everything there those pipes were uh, very awkward but the I painted up onto plaster as well and onto copper pipes and plastic pipes now I did have some undercoat white undercoat on there before uh, and it's taken to that nicely and I think to be honest it would have just gone straight on it anyway Oh, that's it. Right, um, we've finished the uh, ceiling, all the uh, the kitchen up now, and there's one little job to do, which I'm not going to record and show you what, what I'm doing, but um, I just got to put the uh, the hive controller back on the wall, uh, snip a few wires, uh, shorten them up, um, and that is the uh, tile job all done, done dusted. Um, I'm quite happy with this uh, V33 stuff, or v33 uh, I don't know how they sort of pronounce it um, it's gone on really well there's no bubbling or cracking or anything like that it seems to have taken to tiles really nicely um, it's not much really you can say it's a really good product it's the first coat you know seemed a bit sort of dodgy but as soon as I put the second coat on it covered like a dream um, absolutely no moans about it I personally have put three coats on and I've still got a third of the tub left so um, don't be, I mean, I've done the whole kitchen uh, tiles, so don't be afraid. It does look like a small amount of paint you get, but don't be afraid to slap it on because um, you would just be left with a load of paint like me. And uh, with the additive put in, it only lasts for 10 days. Uh, but saying that, I'm still going to keep the paint in case it does scratch or anything. And at least I've got some spare paint just to uh, chuck on and hopefully hide um, scratching or, or what have you. Um, now the only problem with this, with using this paint, is when you put the sealant on, the white sealant, it shows up like a sore thumb. Um, the area between, that's what I've been seeing at the minute, is the area between the worktop and the tile. And whenever you sort of spread the sealant into the, uh, the tile, the, into the crack section, 
it squirts up and it sort of goes between the vertical piece of grout I don't know if you can see it with my finger uh, up that bit there now I've had to go all the way round with a sponge trying to sort of scrape it out of there and and then when you do do that you've then got to make sure the uh, the horizontal piece underneath is all redone and touched up again so it's been really stressful doing that it's definitely not been a nice experience um, so that's one thing to watch out for if you're using a darker tile shade is when you're sealing it uh, it's going to be a, a lot of work I mean I was expected to have done the whole kitchen in 10-15 minutes but it's taken me three quarters of an hour to an hour to get this done it's a bit of a nightmare but this is uh, Chris from UK Tool Reviews uh, thanks for watching if you want to buy any of the uh, products that we've used um, please feel free to have a look in the description and I've got a link to B&Q there or uh, some uh, banners uh, if you feel free to click through them um, I might get a little bit of money back to uh, buy more tools to uh, to do some more reviews and paints and things like that so um, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you soon with the next project